me an hour talking. Give me your income, give me 30 power projection. Thank you, please. Best thing is, you get a big old truce of the Ottomans as well. The Ottomans don't like that I didn't give them their cores and claims, so maybe I should sweeten them up a bit as well. Let's improve you, and we'll also keep those claims going. Damot was one of them. Elu Babor. I would start incorporating quite a lot of cannons into my army, so I don't think I'll get the next quantity idea just yet. What is it, anyway? Land maintenance modifier. Oh, that means shekels. Mm. Well, we'll use cannons anyway, since they are good. It's a shame the supply limit is so low around here. Yeah, that would improve for quite some time. Oh well. Yeah, well, the Ottomans are just going to have to suck it up. They may hate me for it, but I'll just keep them sweet otherwise. I wonder if we can fight them again. I reckon we just got a bit unlucky. We'll take them on a second time. Oh, what's more, we can bring an extra thousand men into the fray. That should increase us by quite a bit. A shekel shaved is a shekel earned. Thank you for the words of wisdom. Oh, who just became an unaccepted culture? Please don't tell me all the people that I... No, it was. it's almost definitely Swahili. Yeah. These guys are still cool. The Bedouins. Oh, Bromalia culture converted this province. That's good. I know they get an 80% discount, but uh, still surprises me when they do it. Okay, this is taking forever, guys. good on the claims front. Jake, can you do a world conquest in one week real time? The fastest? Ryukyu took me three days back in EU3, but it was three days of solid playing. I think I played, slept, and ate. And there wasn't much of the uh, second two. Alright, prepare for pain, my friend. Could somebody check out the triggers for this debased currency? It must be just to do with having lots of loans. And maybe not having a Master of Mint? My inflation isn't that bad. How did I miss you? Right, there's a good chance you're going to live for like 20 years, so now is the time to take a lot of land and stamp down uh, whatever we can. Come on, guys. You got this. You got this. Nailed it. And they're going to run and die to rebel, uh, die to natives, or not. Gold income percentage is at least 10% of our income. Yeah, but only just. We only need a few more trade-related shekels, and we are well on our way. How can we solve this then? Right, so I'll finish up this war, I will protect her at Ryukyu, and then I shall turn to eating Kaffa. Sounds like everybody wins there. When is it time for the next war in India? Good question. I kind of want to eat up Kaffa though. A little disappointing that they're not getting these, because uh, if they're animist, it makes it a lot easier for me to, con uh, to take their lands. Uh, 
Then again, I should also eat Nadge. Uh, so many things I want to do, so little time for it all. I think the Ottomans are suitably sweet. Did Jake take the Maldives yet? Of course I took the Maldives. What is more, they gave me spices as they should. Not that we make any production off it, but we certainly make the trade off of it. Excellent! I'll take the 25 dip for that, if it speeds up the colonization of this horrible province. Also, am I still subsidizing you? Yeah, that's going to have to end. You make plenty of dosh as it is, hombre. I need those shekels more than you. Which may or may not be true. But I'm keeping my money. Ah, finally, some uh, song from the guns and drums and bass and whatnot. So. Yes, I could not quite get you. Establish protectorate, no why. Because of distance between borders and your neutral attitude towards me. Ah, okay. I don't want to do it by force, but if you make me do it by force... I'm surprised that that counts as distance between borders, though. I mean, I'm right next to you, buddy. As right next to you as it gets. Okay, is there any more non-tropical land around here that we could make our own? Otherwise, Australia's going to have to go. Australia, huh? Well, it beats taking all that uh, tropical land. Anything beats taking all that tropical land. Honestly, I'm not really liking this song. Alright, Ryukyu. What if I do do it by force? What do you have? Four thousand men with tech. Ten. Yeah, I'll, I'll kill you. I'll kill you for your own good. Ah, of course, this is where the song really picks up. <coughs> Makes me kind of sad to have to do this to you, Ryuki. Well, at the very least, I'll get my piety up. Uh... Our air can... <laughs> our air can... Uh get to know Okinawa. Yes, this is me truly hoping I can do a quick kill here, because if Japan gets involved, uh, yeah, I don't really have much of a, an aggressive navy yet. Alright, let's see how well you fight. You did good, Ryukyu, just not good enough. Also thump you down there so we don't get any uprisings. Really liking the lack of unrest in my country. Perhaps I should consider tightening the chains a little more. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Oh, actually, this is looking pretty bad. Come on, it's all about the fire. 
Oh, wow. You guys are too strong for me. And I need 100% to protect her at you. We must come back even stronger. Good job, Ryuki. You're making me proud. Ah, I see. They recruited an extra man there. Clever. They have learnt well. Alright, Diplo Annexation cost is a little useless, but I do like getting that aggressive expansion down a bit. So there we go. Dip up. Oh, I never did send that colonist, did I? Uh, there's a chance I'll get gold around here if I do send you. But there's no pressing need to do that, so is it really something I want to do? Well, why not? Hmm. What was my thought with regard to expansion versus getting my idea, uh, getting my tech up? I can't quite remember. Same to you. No, I wanted my land maintenance shackles. Yeah, let's idea up. Excellent, they got this. They got this horrible province. Wow, with 50... Oh, I see. It starts with 50% autonomy and it ticks down, but still, that's that means they're going to dominate Brazil. Soon enough, hopefully. Gives me yet another free colonist. Uh, free colonist, yep. So onwards. The natives will never rise up here, you can tell, because it has, an, it has a Native American sprite there. And it's in Africa. If it was in America, it wouldn't be such a big deal, but uh, yeah, they will not rise up there. I money back guarantee it. Jeez, Ryuki, you really put me in my place, didn't you? Oh, I don't even have the boats to carry over this many men. But I can reinforce, can't I? Alright, finally. Full quantity and expansion ideas as an extra colonist, I am well aware. And there's a chance that I'll want to take it. Okay, full, ex full annexation of you. It's all we've ever really wanted. I'm sure my colonial nation can deal with it. Conversion at all. Hmm, it's not showing me how long it's taking for him to core it. Normally it does. I should have made separate piece with you to eat all your money, but I did not. I'll have to remember that next time. Speaking of things to eat, Kaffa or elsewhere? Well, I'm still working on Ryuki, so maybe I shouldn't get greedy. Okay, guns and... Uh guns and all that OST is certainly rearing its head now. Not that I'm complaining. Jacob, it has a Native American sprite in Africa. You won't get any production goods either. That's not true. The production is based on what region it is, and then it refers to tradegoods.txt. Uh, because it's in the South African area, it'll check for South goods that can be produced in South Africa, which is grain, gold, ivory, and slaves. I even wrote down which are more common than others. Let's see, slaves are the most common, followed by grain, then followed by gold and ivory. But gold becomes a lot less common if you already have a lot of gold, or it borders gold problems. So 
so there you go. Okay, the, the odds are even worse for us this time. But maybe, just maybe, we can pull it out of the bag. Jake, does Bromalia have their own colonist? Good question, but I doubt they do. They'll need to get their third idea group, and they're not even close to it. At least I think their third idea group is expansion, I couldn't tell. Jeez, you guys are fairly brutalizing me. Oh wow, wow, our numbers are dwindling. I don't think we're going to pull through here. Reiki is too strong. We never stood a ghost of a chance. Send help. Now we don't have our general on the case. Could I have met my match? Jeez, if ever I've seen a good reason not to, uh, not to deck up in military. They're too strong. They can't be beaten. Alright, this is bordering on the ridiculous, although I do find it quite funny. Oh, it's free to make your protectorate. Huh. Where are all my, uh, my boats? Let's go and be extremely heavy-handed. Jake, it's doing that thing where the nations you play as become a lot stronger. That does happen. Happened to Foix. Happened to Navarra. Happened to the Golden Horde, it seems. OPM Golden Horde do not mess with. Finished everything. Plus 15 morale of navies. Plus 10% goods produced everywhere. Excellent. What is more, we're increasing the goods produced around here thanks to being a trading uh, thingamajigger. But I really want to get this finished off. That way I'll be able to declare war on all of this. Oh, I want to declare so many wars. You vassalized Venad. I don't think that's going to save you, oddly enough. But I still want your centers of trade and your estuaries, so... In fact, to be honest, I just want your coastline. But I don't have the admin to core it, because I just spent it all like a scrub. But we can get around that. It's called Pay to Win DLC. Doesn't goods produced drive your gold income even higher? Yes, it does. In fact, it probably proportionally makes gold uh, that bit more. So yeah, gold is 17. That's going to be troublesome. Still, I'm making monster ducats here. If only I had something to spend it on, like a bigger navy. Dying just a sec. Jake, you wanted administrative monarchy. Yeah, that is true. But I don't think it's too big a deal right now anyway. We're spending plenty of time at peace, right? Hmm. 
Yeah, I could still have you a bit sweeter, couldn't I? And those claims on Madge. Okay, Ryuki, you had a good run, but this is where you die. In before he brutalizes me. Jig, sell your ships and buy upgraded ones. I've never tried the sell ships option. Cannot sell to a rival. They don't want any. Who would? Yeah, doesn't look like many people want to buy my ships. Oh well. Yeah, you pay the full cost to upgrade your ships. I don't see the worth of doing that just to get an extra 0.5 trade power on my ships when I could just build more ships. We're still a wee bit away from getting Carvels, so perhaps we should build a few more. We've got our template. Give it to me. 30 more should do. Jake then zoomed back out to Ryukyu to discover that small state having taken Japan Japanese island and Korean mainland and become a large empire. That would be a little terrifying, wouldn't it? Where are our colonists again? I know you're there, but what about the other two? Ah, I need to get my troops on here. Not because they'll revolt, they have zero chance of native uprisings, but uh, it can get the assimilate natives event, which is certainly good. Could also become Defender of the Faith. No thanks. Not paying that tech cost. See what I mean? Straight away, 100 people in Senku, which saves me, let's see, 20%, 2, 5, 5, 12, 60. Pretty much one year. Yep. DDR mathematics. Sorely tempted to fight you, Kaffa. Could just rip your land out of you. But, here's the thing. You're a little big and I'm extremely low on admin right now. I could be, I could just hold back, just take a little bit of your land. Check if you can sell a province to Ryukyu, they'd maybe westernize the AI really likes doing it. Okay, but hey, now that you mention it, a western Ryukyuan vassal has a bit of a ring to it, don't you think? Then again, well, they start out as a monarchy. They're 10 10 10 actually, I'm in, I'm in a bit behind for that. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to westernize off me just yet. They could be my protector for a while. Make them a march. Riku's ideas are certainly not based around being a good march. Brutalize Kaffa. So much brutalizing that I need to do. Jake, shouldn't you be converting some of those guys back? No, they get this uh, modifier 
that makes it minus 8% to conversion chance for 10 years. So I'll just wait 10 years and convert the back. They're only Animus, so it'll be easy to do. Right, I need to get that Suikin, wherever it is. Ah, easy peasy. And then, yeah, I think, I'm, I think I'll take over Vigianagar next, because I can get the, uh, what am I trying to say? I can get my extra merchant from having a strong trade company there, and I'll just ship these 10,000 back over there, it'll be easy. Kath, I can wait. Jake vassalized Kath, yeah, I wish I could, but they're too big. Uh, what I could do is punch... Punch land out of them. Alodia, Makuria, Alodia, Makuria. Hmm. Also, we're running out of that power projection that I love so much. I need to get that Suikin wherever it is. TTR Jake gets once your provinces. You've seen that picture where it's uh, France and the Netherlands sitting down for dinner? And uh, the Netherlands is going on about, oh wow, when I think about when I was little, Jelra, Utrecht, and you helped me out, and then suddenly France wants their, uh, their Belgian waffles. And then before you know it, France uh, wants their everything and wants to burn them down. Okay, you will become a protectorate. But you would be animist. I could eat you up and spit you out as a not animist. It would be just as cheap. And you would get my technology. I think. Yeah. Probably be better to do that because that way Japan will lose their mission on you. At least for a short while. I could convert the province for you, but why would I bother? You'll be able to convert it, no problem. My glorious protectorate. And we'll send our troops back over to now deal with Vigianagar. Good night. What tech do you need to unlock power metal? <laughs> ah, funny joke. Right. Your truce with us is still another five years to go, so we're doing fine in that regard. Jake, do you have a particular shekel level in mind that you would like to achieve? I'm not sure about that just yet quite sure about getting that though. Only 10 legitimacy and I get free ducats. Everybody knows I like ducats. And you have no friends, so perhaps it's more, uh, more in line for me to go and take your land. in the world. Some of our colonists have decided the current colony isn't very good and have decided to move elsewhere. So they gave up on Senku and they just hopped on a boat and went over here. Well, I suppose it is hard to keep track of people these days. Shitatsu show remembers. Emperor Kimpuko Kuni, you're not quite the Shitatsu show that we knew and loved. Conquer somewhere I've never heard of. 